My name is Janelle Hooper and you can find me over the, at home with the Hoopers. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the Good and the Beautiful, their new unit um, on birds that came out. We use the Good and the Beautiful for a wide variety of our curriculum subjects, but specifically today I'm going to be focusing on their nature subject and their bird unit. So this is their bird unit and it comes completely sealed in this um, cellophane wrap and you can either punch holes in it and put it into a binder. I put all mine into page protectors and put it into a binder. Kind of similarly to how I did our marine biology unit that we're doing. So each um, page is in its own individual page protector so that it lasts longer and we can reuse it um, as the kids get older for extensions. So each unit comes with a breakdown of the information a read aloud book pack and each lesson offers lesson extensions and these are for grades 7 and 8 um, for older kids or maybe if you have younger kids if you want to deep dive with them a little bit more you can dig into these lesson extensions which are really needed really cool um, a supplies needed list which breaks down any supplies you may need um, by lesson so you can prepare ahead of time um, I love their science units because it comes with a vocabulary section. So you can cut out these words and place them on your science wall or wherever you want to put them in your classroom, your homeschool area. Um, and it just goes over any new words that you're um, looking at in the unit. And then each lesson is broken down. So you have like, this is lesson two. So it just breaks you through step by step and at the end is where you can find your lesson extension for the unit. So their units are very straightforward, they're very much open and go, easy to use, absolutely beautiful as far as the illustrations go. Here's like a hatching from watching birds hatch. Um, it's just really in depth and it's really cool and we found that it offers a lot of opportunity to just have those um, deep dives into the units where you can take any information that you're learning and go watch videos on it or anything else. We're also you're gonna use their bird watching notebook in conjunction with this. And this is really cool because it has just different, different signs of birds, birds track, classifications. It teaches you how to use binoculars. And then at the end, it turns into like a nature notebook, but it's directed at the bird, so you can draw the bird or find a picture of the bird and kind of write some notes on it. We're also going to be using their nature reader, which is really sweet. It features three stories that are about birds, and that's just a really fun way to incorporate learning is through literature, and my kids really enjoy that. We're also going to be using the songbird study book, which is beautiful. So it features one bird per double play page layout, but it goes through their scientific name, their habitat, their diet, and if they migrate or not. And then it kind of gives a little blurb about them. And the pictures are beautiful. It's really insightful. There's just like a lot of birds that we never even knew existed. And then we're also going to be using the Mission Migration Storybook, which is a really sweet story, which brings you on it brings you along for um, bird migration and so that's really cool and it's about the whooping crane so cool cool story the other one that i want to feature today is the nature notebook and this is basically a nature journal for, journal for children um but i think it's a kind of a really good layout of giving them a blank journal and just telling them to nature journal this kind of guides them and teaches them how to journal and it brings you through each season so it's broken down into the four seasons and then in each season it so here's summer and in each season it'll give you t things that you might see in summer it does have a lot of blank spaces for notes and drawing and creativity but it also offers poetry and lessons along the way about different facts of animals that you might see during that time of the year, or trees that you might see during that time of the year. So the Nature Notebook, I highly recommend, and it'll take you through all four seasons. Thank you for joining me today for this quick review of the bird unit with the good and the beautiful. I'll be back to share some of the other units we are going through with them as well.